Uh, movie. Yeah. Yeah, the Invaders Zim TV movie is done. Uh, they're just waiting for a release date. I don't know when it's going to be released or where yet, but uh, yeah, it looks really good. Uh, we saw the. Uh, the where, where, is it, where does it pick up at? Like, how, how much of a time skip? It, you know, the thing is with Invader Zim is that every episode, it, you know, it's just a lot of stuff happens and then there's uh, some explosions and things, you know, go crazy. This, this movie is basically a very big episode. All right. And it does acknowledge some time went by, but it doesn't say how much time. As usual. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The guy that voiced Gurr, everybody. I love that. I love that. That's a really great shirt. Yeah, it's Doing all right. Good. So, what are you guys? Oh, uh, we are a uh, we're a comedy show, a live comedy show, stand up in a uh, toy and comic book store in Burbank, California. We also do conventions. We were here yesterday performing, and uh, and we do it's uh, toy themed, which is what mint on card means. And it's a free show. We just have all the best comics in LA come by and do our stupid little show in a toy store. Cool. All right. Uh, oh, here we go. Yep, that's all the information you need. And then the store's cards are right behind it. Burbank, you say? Yeah. Mint on card. Uh, next time my sister wants to drag me out to something, I'll tell her, take me here. At least I can do comedy are now. Are you local? I'm in California. Oh, well, that's pretty local. Yeah. It's a, it's a free show, and uh, we get... Do you have any favorite comedians or anybody that you really enjoy? Uh, not off the top of my head. At least none that are still alive. <laughs> oh, did you kill all your favorite comedians? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, we've had comics like Melissa Villasenor from Saturday Night Live. Um, Drew Lynch from America's Got Talent, Dana Gould from The Simpsons, Laurie Kilmartin and Brian Kiley from Conan. Uh, just a lot of really amazing stand-up comics that just come in and, and do awesome free comedy. And this is a weekly event? It's a monthly event. Monthly. On the second Friday of every month, except December, we're the first Friday. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank of you. Of course. Thank Thanks you. for stopping by. I know that name. James Mathis? Sir. Huh. James Mathis. James Mathis. James Mathis. I know I know this name. Very. James Mathis. I, I know this name from somewhere. I know I know it. So you were a very famous voice actor, I see. Uh, I can take the voice actor portion of it. I, I can't take credit for the very famous part. Uh, I'm the voice of uh, Black Panther in the animated series. And in uh, a few video games as well. And Star Wars? Yes. I was Captain Typo. <laughs> the glare. There. All the lighting. Yeah. Are you doing anything lately? Pardon? Are you doing anything lately? Yes. Our series is uh, is running currently. Black Panther's Quest. Oh, cool. It airs tonight at 9. All right. Cool. Thank you. Uh, what platform? Disney XD. Oh, Disney XD. Thank you. What's this about? Spencer and Locke. It's one of Calvin and Hobbes grew up in Sin City. It's about a hard-boiled detective whose partner is his childhood imaginary friend. It's a little true detective, it's a little fight club, and it's 100% a love letter to classic Bill Watterson strips. So it's like Harvey Noir. Yeah, that's exactly. It's a great way to look at it. Uh, this was actually nominated for five Ringo Awards, including for Best Series and Best Writer. And we actually have a, our sequel, Spencer and Locke 2, in the previews catalog right now, available for pre-order. Uh, think of hardboiled Calvin and Hobbes versus hardcore Beetle Bailey. Uh, think of if Heath Ledger's Joker was a military man, and that's uh, what you're going to get for our sequel. It's very exciting. And here are your cards for. Yeah, feel free to take those. Those are free. Thank you. And uh, as you say, you can get the volume, first volume through your local comic shop, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Comicsology, uh, Target, 
anywhere you can order a book, they can order you, Spencer. All right, thank you. Thank you. We do some MLP art. You're an artist for some of the MLP comics. Sorry. You're an artist for some of the MLP uh, comics. Um, she is. Yes, she is. She is. She's an artist for My Little Pony and these superhero girls. You're a Katara, right? Yes, I am. But I thought it was. All right, cool. Thank you. You're a... Oh. Fine. These actually made out of metal, or how do you get that metallic sheen to it? <laughs> nice, nice. Take on the quote, never ending battle from Superman? No, this it has nothing to do with Superman. No, I mean just the quote. I don't know, I'm not familiar with that. The bigger bang. Mm -hmm. And then the biggest bang. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. Annalena Cole and the Hidden War. What that, what that one about? This is um, Amelia Cole, is, she is a young woman who is magic and she uses magic to help people who can't always help themselves. And it's a five volume series. We have one and two, we're out of three, four, and five, but we do have the omnibus here that is uh, all five in one. Thank you. Thank you. Bash the stampede, bash, bash. Oh, what are you doing here, man? I thought, I, thought you were, I thought you were still on that cliffhanger. What happened? Right there. Last time I saw you, you were walking into the desert with your brother. What happened there? Uh, you know what? I just want to check out the convention. All right. You want to check out the convention. All right. Sorry, my cat's named after you. I got to catch this. Thank you. 
All right, take care, man. Really great. Morocco is martyred in life. Warren Trippers. Can I get a shot real quick? Alright, that's Belle and Aurora from, Di from, from Disney, right? All right, gotta make sure. From Disney, and some stormtroopers. Ah, uh, the stormtroopers. Ray. Oh, hi, ladies. Yeah. People, hey, what's your Bobo? Hello. Gentlemen prefers blondes. Yeah. Win, win. Just added James Matchers. And what is this story about? Um, well, we're waiting con. It's a uh, fan convention dedicated to works of Joss Whedon, you know, who did Buffy, Angel, Firefly, directed the Avengers. Right, right, right. Why not? Los Angeles, June. <laughs> yeah, hmm, not bad. Can I get one of these? Yes. And the code on the bottom is good for $40 off the weekend price. Alright. Yeah, get these online. That's good, that's good. I gotta remember that. Okay. Because I'm a fan of Buffy and Angel. Alright. Is he going to do any more Marvel films, or is that... No, I think he's pretty much done with that. Uh, he, he, right now he's working on a series for HBO called The Nevers. It's kind of about like a Victorian... Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, that's the LA Convention Center. Oh, this is the book. Yeah, that was the... from two years, two years ago. Two years ago. Just to kind of let you get a feel of... I should remember to to go to this thing. I, I need to get out to more cons. Okay. We do. All right. Thank you very much. And it's a, it's a good con, especially for, you know, if you're not that, it, you know, it, it's a, you know, it's a smaller con, so you don't get necessarily overwhelmed and you, and yeah. you get more personal interaction with the, the guest. That's true. All right. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I just... Oh. Wait, can I get a shot of you too? Sure. Wait. Wow. Oh my god, I would so love you. I'm waiting. Alright, alright. Okay, thank you. Uh, can I get a shot with you two, with these two? Okay. Yeah, background. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Alright, yeah. There we go. Alright, ready. Alright, thank you. It's very cool. Thank you. It was showing That's cool. I've seen that show. Uh, excuse me. Can I get a shot? Ready? Alright. Okay. Thank you very much.
<laughs> oh, that's the title of the book is out of order. I thought the sign was up there saying you're out of print or something. I'm like, oh, okay. That must be very popular then if it's out of order. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. It's, it's based on a true story of me and my wife's relationship dealing with a mental illness. Oh. And so it's kind of like a twisted romance slice of life kind of a story. And we have the first three issues out right now. Issue one, two, and three. Would you, would you like to take a look at the third issue and kind of sort of check it out? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm filming. They're five dollars each. If you buy uh, all three of them, we'll give you a discount and sell it to you for twelve dollars instead of fifteen. And we'll throw a button in for free. Interesting. And they're all black and white. Yeah. Yeah. But we're gonna put it in color. We're gonna make a trade when they're when it's completely finished and put it in, in turn it into color yeah. at the end. All right. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> J. Francis J. Burns, writer and director uh, of uh, writer and director of Danica uh, Chatto Shade. Uh, these? Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Group mode. Got it. You're right there. What we, what we, what you do need to do is be Oh no no, I've done it. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's interview me because this is a comedy show at Gen Con at Great Cast. What the? You have to do it. No. Then tell me what you want. I can do it. But see, here's the thing: when you do pop culture shows, fantasy doesn't work. But yeah, I bring pop culture stuff. Well, I do Dragon Hunt, I bring a lot of Dragon stuff. Yes, I swear my Dragon I need to put this away. Hold on. Can you hold that real quick? Thank you. Oh, yes, you did. So I brought my con bag, whatever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ashley Spinelli. Remember that? Cap, Cap, um, Cap, can I get a shot real quick? So you would need. Dude, can I get a shot? Thank you.
that's the other moon. Oh, it's someone else. Wow. Can I get a shot real quick? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Ladybug. It's so, yeah, so cool. Alright, you will. Can I get a shot real quick? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, with alligator. I own a set of those. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hello. Thank you. Oh, the same one. 